Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is boil reflux. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Now I come to the topic: what is boil reflux? You know, boil reflux is the upwards or the refluxes uh, from the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine, to the stomach. Uh, you might have heard uh, GERD, which is called gastroesophageal reflux disease. In this condition, the acid from the gastro, uh, from the stomach, it flows upwards to the esophagus, which is a food pipe. It runs from the mouth to the stomach. You know, on the both ends of the stomach, there is a ring of muscles. They are known as sphincter. And the purpose of the sphincters or the muscle ring is to prevent the backward flow. In case of GERD, the sphincter, which is uh, the ring of muscles between the esophagus and the stomach, for some reason, uh, it's not. It does not close properly. So as a result, the acids from the stomach travel upwards and they cause irritation there in the es esophagus. But in case of uh, boil reflux, there is some abnormality or some uh, the function of the sphincter between the small intestine and the stomach is compromised. So as a result, uh, the boil, it flows backwards or upwards from the small intestine to the stomach and from then from the stomach to the esophagus where it causes irritation. Now, boil is a gastric juice which is produced in the liver. Then uh, uh, through the bile duct, it drains into the small intestine where it helps to digest the food like fats and other foods. So when uh, so due to abnormality, it travels back to stomach and from the stomach to the G, uh, from to the esophagus. Sometimes uh, RTE as a, uh, in fact RTE and uh, sorry uh, GRD and uh, bile reflux uh, they have the same symptoms and the most important symptoms are the abdominal pain. And this abdominal pain is uh, generally on the upper abdomen. And uh, this is uh, due to the location of the small intestine and the stomach. Then the other important is the frequent heartburn. And this is also behind, it is in the chest burning or the heart burning. And this is also due to the location of the esophagus. Nausea and vomiting is another complaint or is another symptom. Cough or the harshness and uh, the harshness is, means that uh, the inflammation in the larynx which is our voice box. So which means that the inflammation or that uh, acid has traveled back towards the voice box where it is caused irritation and the weight loss because the food is not digested properly and so the nutrients are uh, not absorbed so uh, it can cause the weight loss especially unintentional weight loss when you are not planning to lose the weight and even though you have the weight loss so the upper abdominal pain frequent heartburn nausea vomiting and coughing are the harshness of voice and the weight loss so these are the most important symptoms of the uh, bile reflux and the GRD both and uh, the differential diagnosis is very important 
uh, if you vomit and uh, you find that uh, the color of the vomit is grayish or the yellowish which means that it may be due to the acid reflux uh, sorry the bile reflux because the bile color is green so this is an important clue uh, to differentiate between the GRD and bile reflux uh, the most important causes are uh, it may be caused uh, due to any gastric surgery especially the surgeries which are performed uh, to lose weight known as bariatric surgeries you know where the stomach size is reduced surgically uh, so this is the most important complication of this uh, gastric surgery uh, then the peptic ulcers can also cause this problem and uh, gallbladder surgery or gallbladder removal is known as cholecystectomy it is another important cause it can uh, further uh, bile reflux uh, because uh, in that case uh, the bile is overproduced maybe and released to the intestines uh, any obstruction in the intestines can also uh, uh, cause this and like uh, any hernias or any tumors or any uh, maybe uh, cancers so gastric surgery uh, peptic ulcers and the gallbladder removal and any other kind of obstruction can cause the bile reflux now once you if you have these uh, uh, conditions and uh, you should consult your doctor uh, if you have these symptoms and your doctor will ask you the questions about the history of any surgery or any family history and you know and then he will perform the physical examination so he will check your general physical health uh, if you are anemic you are have you lost your weight in the recent uh, past etc and if he suspects then he will uh, perform in fact he will refer you for the few tests and those uh, tests are known as the endoscopy so endoscopy is uh, the test where it, your doctor will insert a tube uh, fitted with the camera from your mouth through the esophagus to the stomach and to the small intestine and to see if there is any sign of inflammation or infection any ulcer or any growth or any tumor or any obstruction so it will uh, help the doctor to uh, view inside the your digestive tract uh, and then he will perform the other tests known as uh, ambulatory acid tests uh, this is a test where a probe will be inserted uh, to check the uh, to measure the acids in the esophagus or in the stomach uh, so these are the two tests one is ambulatory acid test and other one is esophageal uh, impedance test so these both are also helpful uh, to diagnose the bile reflux so medical history physical examination endoscopy uh, ambulatory uh, acid tests and uh, esophageal impedance test so these are the most important tests which your doctor will perform to make the diagnosis once diagnosed then the treatment include the life in fact the lifestyle is not uh, uh, it does not make any difference to be honest in case of boil reflux it's very good uh, it helps a lot uh, if you have the GERD but in case of boil reflux there isn't any significant uh, evidence that uh, uh, it improves uh, uh, the symptoms but uh, medications can be used to uh, control the production of the boil and suppress its production uh, but if the medications does not work then the surgery is another option so uh, uh, the surgery can be performed to uh, tighten uh, the sphincter or the muscles the ring of the muscles uh, so to prevent the backward flow of the boil so medications and the surgery these are the two main treatment options uh, I will just uh, repeat it again. Uh, bile reflux is the backward flow of the acids from the, uh, from uh, of the bile from the small intestine to the stomach and then from the stomach to the esophagus and upwards. Uh, main complaints or the main symptoms are um, uh, upper abdominal pain, heart burning, um, nausea and vomiting, uh, cough or maybe hoarseness, which means the inflammation of the uh, our voice box and the unintentional weight loss 
uh, and then uh, the possible reasons or possible causes are the any bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery, peptic ulcers, gallbladder removal uh, surgery or any obstruction like tumors or any intestinal cancer etc. Uh, medical history, physical examination, uh, endoscopy, uh, ambulatory acid tests, esophageal impedance tests. So these are the most important tests your doctor will uh, order uh, to make the diagnosis and once diagnosed then uh, the medication and the surgery is the treatment choices. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. Have a good day. Bye now.